Hey guys, my name is Dave Richmond. This is Jeff Beeler, one of the owners of Antler Grow and a few other different companies in the hunting industry. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about food plot management. Food plot and management. Some is things you guys one, yeah. can do to to help your food plots and and help your your deer herd. So we're gonna let all Jeff. All wildlife too. Yeah, yeah, all wildlife too. So we'll let Jeff take it over for a little bit. Yeah, guys, food plot management. Rule number one, as Dave knows, and a lot of you guys know, is pH. Mm -hmm. That's the thing you want to do. Um, we believe in fuller feeding, so we want to we want to feed the plant through the through the leaf, like he's got here. You know that what happens is any of our products goes down to the root. You spray the leaf, it goes down to the roots, comes back up, never leaves. So when you're fuller feeding, you're using 100% of the application of the product. You know whether it be the fertilizer or the micronutrition package. You know with Antler Grow or Farmers Touch which is our fuller fertilizer. You know, in the pH, like you did in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. you know, I did believe last winter you went and did a pH sample and you did all that and you had a couple tons of lime to it. It was about four, well, probably about two and a half tons. Two and a half tons of yeah. lime. And then you fertilize with the micronutrition package, you know, uh, with a granular fertilizer with this minute micronutrition just mm -hmm. to give it that jump start because yeah. you live a long ways away. Right. You know, from the property, like we do a lot of properties. You know, we live six, eight, 10, 12, 15 hours from properties. So we'll give that plant a little bit of jump and then we'll go up there and we'll spray just like you know, like you do, you know, on your place. You'll go up there and spray those food plots, and they just boom. I mean, they oh, just yeah, ex gorgeous. explode. Mm -hmm. You know, and the cool thing is, is it lasts for so long in the plant and on the plant that you're feeding the deer all the minerals it needs, the vitamins through the live living plants, and you're just it, the food plots just explode. One of the biggest things I think that we've found over the years with people doing like eighth acre, quarter acre, tenth acre, you know, hundred by hundred foot, you know, they plant a lot of brassicas. Mm -hmm. I love brassicas. But the thing is, brassicas, when you take that tip off, it doesn't come back. Mm -hmm, right. You know, so I think that the, the best thing to do for managing small food plots, you know, this is on small food plots, is to use a cereal grain or some kind of a perennial or something where they take a bite and it keeps coming. Mm -hmm. You know, depending on what you're planting, like your clovers have been awesome. Right. They've yeah. held the deer. Oh, they're still they're still hammering it. Yeah. And with your, you notice your, your brassicas are getting mowed down and your yes. clovers, they're spending more time in the clovers than they're the brassicas because they start eating all this, especially after the first frost. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think if you do a, a smaller on small properties, if you do a smaller, you know, uh, gr winter green patch mix with more of a cereal green where you got more coming and, co you know, like the rye oats and wheat, you know, in a small of this because it's going to keep growing and growing. And growing. Like we, we overseeded in, in Ohio this year with uh, brassicas that were going away because their deer were hammering them with winter wheat. Mm -hmm. This right. was just a few weeks ago. Yeah, three weeks ago. And those guys called and said, man, it's doing great. It looks beautiful. And I was just overseeding without even turning the dirt. Mm -hmm. So you can, you don't have to go turn the dirt once you planted it. You can just go overseed. You know, there's, there's so many different applications that you can do. But the whole thing about it is green and growing as much as you can. And if you're only planting fall food plots, that's okay. Because then you can spray the natural browse around your food plots. Anywhere and, you can get to. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah anywhere. backpack sprayer, four-wheeler sprayer, tractor, helicopter, whatever you <laughs> want to do. But, you know, we do a lot of the foreground backpack sprayers just walking down roads, yeah. hitting the briars and the honeysuckles and the and muscadine vines and whatever the deer are eating in your neck of the woods. And each place is different. You know, we're here in, we're here in the south. We're Georgia, Florida border here where we're at right now. And, you know, so you get green and growing year round, especially with the briars. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, managing food plots is uh, number one is pH. Always. First. Always, yep. And number two is like, try and keep something there year round. Yeah. You know? Well, I like the idea of you know, planting like cereal grains and stuff. It's done. I mean, the deer pulls that out. They take that off right there. This doesn't come back. It's done. So you might go back, you know, we've seen a lot of uh, social media posts lately, you know, because we're in the middle of hunting season right now in, in the whole country. And the guys are, man, man, the deer really hammering my food plots, but they go there and it's, you know, it's a little 50 by 50 kill plot and there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. they've, they've, they've plowed it out. Right. We'll put more cereal grains in there so it keeps coming through the whole season. You know, now it's going to go away in the, in the spring after it comes up because it, it's whole life system is to make a seed you know mm -hmm. a rye oat or wheat you know wheat, wheat winter wheat or, or oats is to make a seed so that's his whole job so it's going to keep growing until it makes that seed you know so it's going to the deer can keep keep it mowed down but you're going to have something green and growing and then go in there you know frost seed if you're up in the north for the clovers um and you could go in there and throw clover in the middle of the winter even here in the south so in the spring you got the turkeys and you got the stuff right. you don't even have to plow exactly. that dirt up yep perfect so uh, if people want to find out more information, how can they find out? You can reach us out to antlergrow.com. You can reach out to Whitetail Obsession there with Dave Richmond. Um, we'd love to talk to you. If you have any questions, I mean, feel free. We're there, always there 24-7. We're a little different than the company that people think, but mm -hmm. uh, we're always on the phone all hours of the day and night with people, and we show up the properties. We do land management. 
Uh, we do wildlife management, and that's another thing too we can talk about is land management and wildlife management is two different things. You know, we've been to properties where they do excellent, excellent land management. I mean, their place is just a mat, but their wildlife, you know, their, their, their pH is down, they're just, they're just, it's just junk, yeah. to be honest with you. Right. And there's a big difference between wildlife and land management. You know, and you're trying to bring all that full circle for the guy on the on the five acres, five hundred acres, twenty acres, whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. But the whole thing about it is green and growing plants is the best way we've been able to achieve growing deer, holding deer on small properties and everything else, and something green and growing year round, whether it be natural browse on some places and little food plots to big food plots. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Hope this helps. Absolutely, guys. Be good.